If you have trouble with self-control and want to overcome emotional or mindless eating, watch this video because I will be sharing five tips on how to overcome that bad habit. Hey, my name is Jenny J. I'm an online coach, personal trainer, and group fitness instructor, as well as a nutrition coach. And in this video, I'm gonna be sharing five tips on how to overcome emotional and mindless eating and practice self-control when it comes to your food choices. I just wanna share with you that before I started my fitness and nutrition journey, I really had trouble with this. I remember when I was in high school that I would hide really big bags of those Lay's potato chips, barbecue flavor, and I would just eat that when I was lonely or I was bored or I was angry or sad and I hid it from my family and my friends and never really knew why I did it, but I did it and I was very unhealthy when I was growing up. Ate a lot of junk food, cereal, processed foods, cakes, cookies, frozen meals, I mean, you name it. I definitely lived a very unhealthy lifestyle until I took charge of my fitness and my nutrition in my early 20s. Now I've learned a lot since then and I realized that emotional and mindless eating really comes from this coping mechanism of not fig figuring out or knowing how to deal with our emotions. So tip number one is to simply become aware of your emotions and starting to become more mindful of how you feel in certain situations or different uh, conditions. So let's say you come home from work every single day and your bad habit is going into the fridge or the freezer and pulling out a tub of ice cream. Now before you open that freezer, before you do anything, just check in with yourself and ask yourself, how do I feel in this moment? And if you can get really honest with yourself, you might answer, you know, I'm feeling really stressed and I just need this sense of relief. I need this sense of peace in my life. And throughout the years, throughout conditioning, you have associated the feeling of relief, feeling of peace and relaxation with that tub of ice cream. Now it's super important to just simply become aware of it. We don't need to change that habit right away, but just becoming mindful of the emotions that you're feeling before, during, and after your eating will help you to number one, notice it and become aware. That's number one. Then number two is to take action, to figure out, okay, I'm feeling really stressed right now and Ice cream is my way of coping with that stress. Is there another way that I can potentially cope with this stress? Can I maybe take a dance class? Maybe can I watch a movie, a funny movie to get myself laughing? Can I talk to a loved one to really vent and express all the emotions that I'm feeling? Figure out some solutions or alternatives that will not wreck your health and your nutrition goals. You don't have to do this all the time, but for the habits that you know that you really wanna get rid of, they're so bad for you, you, you hate doing it, and you feel so guilty after, make a journal or a food log and figure out which habits can you fix and find a solution for. Number three is, like I said, creating an emotional food log or a mindfulness log. So every single day, maybe before you eat something, write down your emotions and then write down what you ate during that emotion and ask yourself, did it actually fix that emotion or did it not? Did it just make me sub, uh, get the emotion subside, uh, you know, in the meantime, and then I have to deal with it later. So just becoming aware of this, writing this down will give you some really good insight into your behaviors and your actions, and then you're able to have a plan and move forward. Number four is when you're actually eating, Make sure that you're sitting in an environment that is peaceful and is focused entirely on your food. So often we are just mindlessly munching and putting things in our mouth without even us being aware of it. A little nib of trail mix in the car, a little bite of your coworker's sandwich, um, some free samples in the break room, and then your handfuls of popcorn watching your movie, it all adds up and it all 
puts more calories, more excess calories than we even are aware of. So becoming aware of when we're eating is super important, but also changing the way we eat is the next step. So when you do eat, try to sit down at a table. Be that traditional person where you sit down, you're not distracted, you're not on your phone, you're not on your computer, and you're not working, you're not doing something else while you're eating. Make eating the number one event during those 10, 15, or 20 minutes that you're eating, and take your time. Take a few deep breaths in between your meal, put your fork down, relax, really think about how the food tastes in your mouth, become more mindful. And when you do that, you're going to start to notice when you actually become full. And when you actually become full, that feeling is, you know, I, you, there might be food on your plate, but you might not have to finish it all. And you know, when we're distracted, you probably two to 400 more calories than you actually need because you're not even associating or you're not even uh, getting that trigger of when you're actually full. You're not paying attention to how your stomach feels. So when you focus on actually eating and having that as your number one priority, your number one focus, you're able to control that and really notice when you actually become full. And then last but not least, tip number five is to figure out different alternatives to those feelings and figuring out ways to get those feelings to turn around. So if you tend to go to food because you're excited, I mean, we all go and turn to food for every single emotion, whether it's a celebration, whether it's because we just, uh, you know, broke up with our boyfriend or whether we're just stressed from work, there's always a reason why we turn to food. So figuring out different solutions that will actually work for you will be beneficial. So create a list of some alternatives that can help relieve your stress or help you celebrate without uh, you know, wrecking your food and your nutrition goals are gonna be great ways to help overcome emotional and mindless eating. So I hope that helped. I gave you five tips on how to overcome emotional and mindless eating and hopefully practice more self-control. If this video did help, give me a like and comment below. Let me know what tip you're gonna take and what you're going to try to do to overcome this bad habit. And just a quick reminder, head over to JennyJFitness.com, start your seven day free trial where you get access to all of my live stream classes from cardio, strength, hit, dance, yoga, and so much more. Thanks for watching.